Some of Mr. Jeff Hines of the UK, Mr. Dave Paris of the UK, and Mr. Georges Winkel of Germany. Your time keep the bell is Peter McCann of the UK. A man in action being your referee is Michael Hook of Sweden. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner. Stands a man whose record reads 21 wins, nine losses, one draw with three KOs to his name. Weighing in 166 pounds, that's 11 stone, 12 pounds. Wearing the silver and black shorts. Please welcome from Naples, Italy, Gaetano Nespro. And across the ring, this evening fighting out of the blue corner with an unbeaten record of 11 wins, with eight KOs to his name. Wearing the white and black shorts, weighing in 167 pounds. That's 11 stone, 30 pounds, and 12 ounces. He hails from Enfield here in London. Please welcome the WBO European Super Middleweight Champion, Frank Pugliese. Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Ladies and gentlemen, set in three minute rounds for the WO European Super Middleweight Championship. Well, the whole of the lower stand behind the blue corner from whence Frank Bullioni is about to step forward is entirely made up of Bullioni fans as we look forward to his defense of this WBO European title in the super middleweight division first thing you know Bullioni it was the same on the scales a couple of days ago it's the same here again tonight he's much much bigger and stronger and already he gets through with the right hand to the body that's the height that he got that's that's the advantage that he's going to have to use we'll give him a nice long jab Nespo hasn't been stopped in 10 fights stretching over four years but he's largely been fighting at middleweight and he's up against a guy who's on a roll of stoppages himself. Five in his last six, and I think a career-best performance last time out against Stefan Horvat. Yeah, it really was. Well, they finished a beautiful left hook, wasn't it, in the body? Nice to see Puglioni trying to set the platform with that jab. Been a pro a couple of years now, Bullioni. Only full time actually since 2013. He gave up his job as a building surveyor and now he's putting together the foundations of a really good career. Nice little right hand there to the, to the stomach there, the mid-drift of Nespo. And it's Nespo on the back foot. He's been in with some good fighters, Nespo. He did lose some. Um, six seven years ago to sebastian sylvester who of course was a champion himself in the middleweight division from germany he went six actually with patrick nielsen he lost on points to marcus nab as well who we saw the other day on box nation lose out in a european title fight to emanuele blandamura the same fighter who may well be dancing with our own billy joe saunders in a couple of months at time so there's all sorts of tangible form lines here oh. Puglioni could stop him that'd be a big statement lovely left hook there up and just slip the jab at Nespo and try to throw the uppercut left hook missed for the uppercut but the left hook hit the target good shot right. just slightly caught him on the end of that right hand and the trading punches up close which might suit Puglioni But Bullioni's just not giving Nespo any, any breathers, is he? Just stalking around the ring, cutting the ring off as well. Nespo's just running, running behind him, he's cutting the ring off quite effectively. Trying to get Nespo in the corner. Closing the gap, but maybe just a little bit too close, maybe, but boxing well so far in this first round. Very productive, very offensive. That's what we'd like to see from Bullioni. Oh, oh massive right hand, right on the 
bell. And to be fair, Nesbrook took it well, although it looked he was going to duck to the canvas. Well, that was right above us there, Alex, and even I ducked. And really cracking right hand. And the sound of it, too, just a, a few yards away, and that was literally right on the bell. And just and behind the double jab as well, and just a shot on the get the distance right. Didn't he take that well? Oh, did he stay up on that? Rocked his head and he bowed yeah. down. What are you doing what are you doing? Lovely jab. Lovely body jab. He managed Lovely to stay jab. on his feet. Tricky. A bit tricky. You jab to the chin, put your jab in the chest, cranks, let the right hand go. Right. So body crank straight through it, yeah? Yeah. You've got to trick him into it though. And you can do it. Tips will be absolutely delighted with what he saw in the first round. And you sense from that corner, certainly last couple of fights, it's now that Bouillon is starting to put together the things that Mark Tibbs sees in the gym on a regular basis. Yeah, he's been a working process. And obviously the biggest criticisms of him was lifting his chin up higher defensively, but he's working on those. He's boxing great tonight. And for Nestro, he needs Nestro needs to get close and he's a hold on. Rough. Rough Buglioni, every time he's just getting up with rhythm, at the moment he's just on the end of everything, every punch that Buglioni throws. And there is real intensity here, it's a, it's a controlled, disciplined intensity from Buglioni, he's looking for the right hand now. And again, though, it's everything behind the jab for Buglioni, that's what works for him, just doing the basics very well, makes him at his most effective. As ever with Bullioni, everything he does is always going to be compared with Callum Smith, of course, whether it's through mutual opponents or, or just their general progress. And we do sense that they may well be on collision course one day somewhere. Coming forward, I'll take a left hook for his trouble. Break. Well, he's no mug, Nesbo, there's no doubt about that. He's been Italian middleweight champion in the past. Inactivity to an extent, he fought twice last year, but really only a couple of times in the last couple of years, really, stretching back to May 2012. So he hasn't exactly been busy. The size is already a potential Achilles heel. But he's had the hit clean, and when he does get hit, he sort of seems to ride the shot quite well, so he takes a little bit of sting out the punch. And you can see Barry's point illustrated. He was just able to sort of lean back and sideways away from those jabs. Screw shot with the left hand. And Espo's busy enough himself. But this is good from Puglioni, not giving this for any breeders. He's boxing at Puglioni's pace, which will take dividends as the rounds go on. He cuts the ring down quite well, Puglioni, doesn't he? And he's bullying Nespo, and, and so he should. You know, he's, he's physically bigger than him, and he's bullying him around the ring, and it's a good tactic. Again, just missed with that right hand. That travelled a great deal of distance. Yeah, just brought the right foot forward, which I, I'm not a lover of. I think it was maybe to come back with the left hook. Interesting round. That stalking presence from Puglioni and Nespro finding ways to evade. Yeah, another good round for me for Puglioni. Bully and Nespo around the ring. Not been able to land with the cleaner shots like he did in the first round, but still landing with enough. And Nespo looking a little bit distressed in the corner. All right? Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Cutting him off. You are for roll. Yeah? yeah. Cut him off. I'm following him out, yeah, all right? Mm. Don't get frustrated. Looking good, yeah? Yep. Put a nice little body shot there, together. Yep. Lead over there. Try and find it again, all right? Don't think about turning it over. Just let it go. Okay. Come on, come on. Mark Tibbs with the advice, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Jimmy Tibbs <laughs> applying the, the Vaseline and a wealth of experience in that corner. Six out round three.
Here we go then into the third. Now, just a sense during that interval, Barry, you picked up on it that the, the pace that Bullioni's setting is uh, asking a few questions of the track work of Nesbrook. Yeah, he's la already landed a few clean shots here with a jab and a left hook. Well, the thing is, Buglioni's boxing well within himself, but he's making Nesbrook work hard, isn't he, with his feet? And this, bro, at least it, it seems he has some ambition, which will tell us how much work Bulli's been, well, Bulliotti's been doing on that defence, because that's one of the, the, the criticisms people have picked up on. Yeah, of course, yeah, you know, but, but when you're an offensive fighter, you're always going to get hit with punches going forward. It's, it, it's almost impossible not to. You, know, you can't come forward and, and you can't come forward and not get hit. It's, it's near nigh on impossible. But we're just asking for a little bit more head movement. We're asking for, for, for him to work on things all the time, and he's, and he's been doing that in the gym. And I think it's showing tonight. Just slightly showing with the right hand there, but there is a bit of variety. Body work has been a, a real crucial part of his last couple of fights. Yeah, a lovely little right up look at there from Bugliomi. Just slipped the jab of Nespo. Gets caught with his feet square though, Bugliomi coming forward. Sort of switched to south one, it didn't quite work out for him. In that presence, Bullioni always there, right in front, stalking, pushing, probing Nesbro. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Nice uppercut, that. He set that up, though. He set that up with a few little, little movements with the feet, a few little feints. Stepped back for a little bit and then came back with the combination. Well, that's exactly what Mark Twips was saying in the corner. He was, he was saying, you, you've got to create these openings, and you can do it, he said to Bullioni. And Nespo's, you see the, the sort of redness around his upper body, all over his face as well. He's having to work hard here. Well, he's moving around a lot, and Nespo just having to try and top shot. He went always under pressure from Bullioni. It's a, I think that's a good idea for Bugliano to finish the combination on a jab, gets him back into shape. Gets him back his distance, back, he keeps him nice at range all the time. Right. Another round of pressure, another round in the bank for Frank Bugliano. Slow your own movement down a yeah. little bit and cut him off. All right. Yeah, right. So slow your movement down, yeah? He's in it for a little bit. Yeah. Cut him down. Nice and smart. So you keep sticking that left jab out. Yeah. Keep sticking that left jab out, yeah? You've got to let that right hand go. You're yeah. slipping his left jab. Yeah. It, so it looks nice and pretty, but you've got to count the bag. Right? Yeah. 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 Guarda, nelle corde mi raccomando, stamattina si messo, lui si viene a preparare il destro, sì, devo mettere sì. il destro dalla... No! Un faccio, un po' prima di essere più forte, un faccio ogni volta. Probably needed Enzo, Enzo Macronelli to, to be co-commentator there. We could have got a translation, Barry. Well, that's a very cruel thing to say, Alex. But thank you all the same. Yeah. I sort of guess what you were saying. Here we go into the, uh, the fourth. Bullioni's army on their feet. And he's given them plenty to cheer about in recent fights and down goes Nespo. He complains about the punch, but you can see just a few yards from us here the reaction that he's had. Just a right hand on the top of the head, I think, just disorientated Nespo. Oh, good, good. shot though in response. Well, not, and another left he lands in there. They're going toe to toe. Well, only swinging and Nespo's having to go back. Well, you couldn't blame Bugliani for going straight at Nespo. He looked in trouble. Nespo <laughs> showed his resolve and landed with a few good shots of his own there. You can argue that Nespo's landed more punches since he went down. 
Good going to go back to doubling up the jab, then getting the right hand in the play. It was just a bit careless, wasn't it? The, you can understand why. Almost landed the right hand again as they come in close. Still a minute and a half or so of the four to go. But sometimes Buglioni, when he throws the right hand, he brings that right foot across to square himself up. And I think it's to get more power on the left hook. But can just leave you open sometimes. With your feet square, you get caught, and it looks worse than it is when you get caught sometimes. And Esper seems to have ridden the storm. He's on his toes. Well, you're right, he's done better, hasn't he, since he's gone down, since he took the heavy right hand. He seems to have uh, knocked some life into him. He's only got his concentration, that's for sure. Still a minute to go. And that's ever with Bullioni. The power's there. It's just about carving the opportunities and creating the openings. And just a little bit too close for that right hand there, wasn't it? Just went over the top of Nesbrook. Oh, a lovely jab. Two of them. see that Nesbrook's got a bit of pedigree, hasn't he? he? He could be a nuisance if he wanted to be tonight. Again, just riding the right hand there, just taking the sting off the punch from Buglioni. I'd like to see Buglioni just um, hook off the jab, just lead Nesbrook onto the right hand. And then just took a half a step too close there, just smothered the work slightly, but still a very good round there for Buglioni. He was a good response from Nespro, but a, a couple of big right hands from Buglioni. And they were swinging away, weren't they, at each other? Nespro did well. Well, well he, he showed the fighting spirit, didn't he? Because he was under pressure, took a good right hand. And then you couldn't blame Bugloni for going right at him. Look, he looked hurt. And then got caught, and just a little wake up call, and Nesbro can still be quite dangerous. Halfway then, Frank Puglioni defending his WBO European Super Middleweight title uh, against Caetano Nespro, veteran Italian. Down in the fourth, but a spirited response. The right hand has been the punch tonight so far for Puglioni. It's uh, seeming to be his most dangerous weapon. And again with a good right hand there from Puglioni. There's no doubt it. You can understand why he sells tickets, why he's so popular. He's a marketing man's dream. He's done some modeling in the past, of course, Bullioni, but he says boxing comes first, second, and third for me now. Oh, it's a massive yeah. right hand again, and that sent the spray across the side of the ring. Just after the left hook as well, wasn't it? Just leading, leading Nesbron to the right hand. Again, Nespo riding that shot, taking the sting up the punch yet again, showing his elusiveness. Just as well, too. He's not always been able to close the gap, Bullioni, to get in any of the, the body shots that were so impressive in his last fight. Well, this guy's a lot, again, a, a lot smaller. It's just hard to get a body shot on a guy who you know, and you've got so much of a height difference. Yeah, absolutely, it's a credit to Nespo. And, and he's had success with the right hand, so you can't, almost can't blame him for headhunting, if you like, because well, he knows you can hurt him. Left hook, down goes Nespo. Pirioli thinks 
is over. He knows he caught him with an absolute cracker. The Nesco corner were almost in the ring. He's not recovered, Alex. The bullion is all over him like a rash. He turned away as if he thought that was a finishing shot. Down goes Nesco again, and that is that. The referee waves it off, and it's another spectacular stoppage win for Frank Bullioni. Not bad, but it had to be on a great finish again. Nesco complaining, but you couldn't, you know, the referee was right. He was hurt, he was in trouble, he was only going to get seriously hurt. But the first left took to put him down with was tremendous. And Bullioni's reaction told you how good a punch that was, because you know that, he fighters know, don't they? And he turned away as if that was over. Fair play to Nesbury, he got back up. His corner were almost, almost in the ring with him during that first knockdown. He got back up. And Nesbury just dancing away from trouble, so it seemed as he'd done so many times before in this fight. And Bullioni jumping into that left hook really pushing off that front foot and putting everything in there to call him flush. And Nesbo got up, bravely got up, but he still was on, he was on wobbly legs, I think, against the, the corner post, keeping him st steady. And then when he landed with that right hand over the top, then when he, the referee resumed, he was right to, to, to stop it. He was only going to go down again and get hurt. And a, another great performance from Frank Buglioni. You suspect that Nesbo might have been able to go on, but you're also pretty sure the further knockdowns and further punishment was going to ensue. It's another win. It's another impressive performance from Frank Bulliani. Ladies and gentlemen, up to the next 24 seconds of the fifth round, your referee has stopped the contest. He deemed Katana and Nesbro was in no position to continue. The winner and still the WBO European Super Middleweight Champion from Enfield, the wise guy, Frank Williams! It's a familiar sight, this Frank Bullioni, arms aloft on the back of a stoppage win. That's six knockouts in his last seven. He's on a roll. Frank Bullioni.